a second inaugural cruise canceled, a brand new ship order, and a cruise missing a day in Nebraska. Cruise News Today starts now. From the Cruise Radio Studio in Jacksonville, Florida, this is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Wednesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Love is in the air today, unless you're booked on Sun Princess this weekend. The line canceled the second inaugural voyage on Tuesday. In a letter to book guest, President John Paget said, quote, While we will be taking delivery of our new Sun Princess on February 14th, the ship must remain alongside in the shipyard to allow for additional technical work to be completed. And we regret to announce that we have no other option than to cancel the February 18th. 18th voyage. Now, this is the second time they've canceled the inaugural. In late uh, January, in partnership with builder Finn Cantieri, they also axed the very first sailing. The line is offering various forms of compensation. This is the first in the Sphere class. And Carnival Corporation has inked a deal with Meyerwerth Shipyard to construct a fourth Excel class cruise ship for its Carnival Cruise Line brand, which will debut in the spring of 2027. This new 180,000 gross registered ton vessel will be powered by LNG, will accommodate 6,400 guests, and will join Carnival Cruise Line's three other Excel class ships, Mardi Gras Celebration and Jubilee. Carnival Corporation CEO Josh Weinstein said that the brand hopes to have one to two new ships from 2027 onward annually. And a follow-up on the story we talked about yesterday with Carnival Vista fresh from that dry dock. Well, it's going to face a delay heading back into Port Canaveral, which will shorten its return to service cruise from Central Florida. It was originally planned as a three-day voyage. It'll now be two days with a stop in Nassau. This is because of a delay leaving the shipyard in Europe, followed by bad weather returning back to Port Canaveral. Carnival has offered various forms of compensation to guests, including a one day prorated refund, $50 per person onboard credit, and partial refunds. Also, the option to cancel if they'd like. And cruise line stocks were down on Tuesday. Carnival Corporation down 2.4%, 15.12. Royal Caribbean down a half percent, 116.57. And Norwegian down 2.1%, 16.29. If you have a story, drop us a line, tips at cruiseradio.net. Here in a rest area in Nebraska, I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great Wednesday. Happy Valentine's Day.